Hey, it's John here, Sunrise Antiques. It's February the 1st, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful day. We're getting ready to start our February the 3rd online auction preview. Going to take you through the front building, take you in the middle, take you in the, uh, uh, the pole barn, and then come back and give you the coordinates, the final coordinates for the auction, follow up, uh, give you just a synopsis of what we got going on. So this auction is uh, going off on February the 3rd. It's an online only sale, February the 3rd, 10 a.m. There is pre-bidding going on right now. The, uh, the, the bidding platform is Sunrise dash antiques dot high bid dot com that's sunrise dash antiques dot high bid dot com our address is 79 old york road chesterfield new jersey 08515 telephone number is 888-639-4443 and the website is sunrise dash antiques dot com pick up for this sale is saturday and sunday 10 a.m to 4 p.m we will be sending out a scheduler so that you can schedule a block of time. Uh, we try to have your stuff pre-staged before you get here. Or you can just show up and we'll get it, you know, after we get to the people that we pre-staged. So this right here is lot number seven. This is this 2011 Chevy Traverse. Does run and drive. Selling as as, as is. It came as an as is car. It, have a, has, it does have a clear title for it which the seller will give to us once it sells. So that's that car, lot seven. I'm gonna take you inside, walk you through the main building here. As you can see, once we get in here, we have a full house, full house in here from artwork to smalls, to collectibles, to toys, you name it. Most, I think this is where my wife started with a lot of the lots on this table right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's on the tables. And like I said, I'll go out in the middle area, the van area, and show you uh, that stuff. And then we can go back in the pole barn, and then we'll come on back in here. I'm just going to walk the tables kind of quick. Lots of good stuff in here. There's a camera right there, box lots. And there's toys, like I said, military lots. It's a usual good mix of, of estates that we come in every month. Our next auction after this one will be uh, March the 3rd, March the 3rd at 10 a.m. We will start taking consignments immediately following this auction. I would not wait because it does fill up in here pretty quick. There's another Yadro right there. Let's walk down this one right here. Costume jewelry right there. There's a bunch of costume, I think, at the back as well as regular, regular jewelry. Gold and silver. We do also have a sale coming up, a live only auction coming up on February the uh, 11th. February the 11th up in Heightstown. That's 619 Route 33 in Heightstown. We'll be running that on that Saturday, a Saturday auction, live only. A lot of toys, a lot of vintage toys and newer toys, as well as a mix of personal property. But this sale, this sale is going off on the 3rd, 10 a.m. Pre-bidding is ongoing right now. People are bidding. You can too. If you can't uh, make the auction live and sit there and watch the auction close, then I'd suggest you put a proxy bid in. System will bid for you. Some postcards. System will bid for you on your behalf. Up to your maximum bid. It will not go past your maximum bid. It's like Lenny's right there. If it does go past your maximum bid, then you'll be outbid. You'll get a notice. If you uh, are the maximum bid and someone else bids the maximum bid, if you're the first one, then it goes to you as the buyer. That's how a tie bid is handled. There's really aren't tie bids in auctions. Live auction auctioneer would keep the, the bidding open until somebody bid again, or they would sell it out. So... There's some neat looking glass right there. Looks uh, nice little box lots my wife made up. This is the main building. All the lots in here are grouped in, uh, well not grouped there, they're put in a numerical order. There's trains right there, numerical order. 
So uh, if it has a sticker on it with number 234, that's number 234 in the auction. That's how it's done. So if you want to come in and preview, which leads me to my next point, if you want to preview and you want to make a note of what the lots are so you can go back and look at them later, that's the lot number corresponds to the catalog. There is a live preview tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, from 3 to 7 p.m. We'll be in here. You guys can come in and take a look at all the lots. This is a nice consignment right here. You can take a look at all the consignments. All the lots that have been consigned. That sign right there. <clears throat> you can touch it, look at it, feel it. Make sure it's really what you want. There you go. There's a nice pottery right there. There's a fire-related stuff. There's a neat little consignment right here. That one's got an apology on the back, but it's still, still a neat little crock. Clocks. Like you said, cast iron lights. A lot of good stuff. If you do Brimfield, it's probably a good time to start buying. If you don't have stuff, Brimfield, I think, starts back up in May. We'll be going up there. And... It's a lot of good brim suit, probably brimfield stuff in here. If you did go up there, look at that truck right there, fire truck right there. And you saw the miscellaneous things in here. You also have all this furniture in the corner here. It's all coming. Let me show you into the furniture. Because it is carved up. Some neat little set right there. See the faces on there. It's newer stuff, but it's it's a pretty nice little, nice little set right there. Got some Victorian stuff mixed in there, along with these other pieces. You got Shaq right there if you like basketball. As well as the things on the walls. Some of the artwork. Let's walk back up this road right here. License plates. A little piano baby right there. There he is. There's a guitar. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't that guild it looks like. I'm not an instrument guy, so. Then you can look it up and give you an opportunity to look this stuff up. See if it's what you really want. Dishes, looks like we have some uh, arrowheads or artifacts right there. Dish lots, it's a nice little ewer right here. Check it out. Oh yeah, and this clock set, oh, this just doesn't belong here. This clock set right here, it's got the clock with the two side pieces. And let's go down here. Show you some more of the lots on these tables. I'll give you a shot of the building from the back to the front here in a second. There's some baseball related stuff. A portal right there. And we got a couple of ducks right up in there. I don't know if they're signed or not. Let's see. We got our sign. Check it out. Signed duck. That one's signed. Let's see what this one says. That one's signed too. So if you like decoys, got a couple of decoys right there for you. Let's walk back up this row. You got all this looks like Occupy Japan. That's, I think that's what that is. Occupy Japan. I like this guy right here. Looks like a Caesar. I think that's who that is. If not, he's an important person. A couple of uh, bisque figures, African artwork. You got those advertising boxes, some perfumes, sports memorabilia, signs, more African art. There's a nice advertising piece right there, Grizzly Gasoline. Get that only on the face. There's a lot in here, almost 1,440 or 50 lots this month. Got a fair amount of stuff in this uh, in this sale for you. It looks like some kind of CO2. Here's another piece of uh, sports memorabilia. Well, here we are from the front, uh, the back to the front. There's a scooter right there. Let me pan around and give you just a shot of the building. Once again, you come in tomorrow if you want. Tomorrow we have a preview from 3 to 7 p.m. I'd suggest if you're interested in any of these lots, you're on the, on the ledge, you may want to come in and just like physically take a look at them. We're at 79 Old York Road. Chesterfield, if you've never been here before. All right, now this is the pavilion. 
You got all this furniture, all this bamboo furniture, and some neat bamboo furniture. You got a sunroom. You got that uh, vintage game right there, that Atari machine. More bamboo stuff. You got a pinball machine. Rugs. A little red bench right there. I'm gonna keep going here. I'm going to go around the side. There's a couple boats in here. I can't walk over there close because I'm going to lose my internet connection, but I'll show you from the side here. Got some furniture, some marble top stuff in here. Let's stay there over here. Right from the back. Let me try to walk over there and show you the boats. I lose my connection, I'll reconnect it. All right, you got the low boat, L-O-W-E, beam right there, low, and you got the Fisher right there. I believe that uh, the dark one has the title, and the light one doesn't have a title. I'll go trailer up for you. you Want to look at them? Come look at them tomorrow, three to seven p.m. We'll be out there. They're up for sale. They have a couple bids on them now, I think. Got that Indian right there. More marble top. If you like bamboo furniture, this is bamboo. Some of them don't have cushions, but most of them do. Glass top table. There's some neat stuff out here if you like the bamboo furniture. This chair right here. The lion heads. Check that out. Looks like you got some mid-century looking stuff. You got an old, uh, what do you call it right there? A buffet. Oak Buffet right there. Those right there, believe it or not, are organs, uh, organ, uh, organ pipes. We'll come over to the pole barn here. We've got some really nice rugs in here. If you like rugs, I'd suggest you take a look at these. There's two or three of them in here. They're, they're really high quality. Got that flying saucer right there. If you didn't see it online, that's kind of cool for advertising purposes. You know, this is a nice table right here. Curly Maple, check it out. You don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. It's legit. More rugs. Well, here's the pole bar anyway from the back to the, from coming in to the, from the front to the back. Lots of stuff in here too. I'll walk the tables for you. That chandelier right there. That's a nice light right there, heavy. Plant stand right here. You got some high quality chairs. I think they may have gone with that table, I'm not sure. All right, you got these tables full of stuff. Costume jewelry, looks like you got an accordion right there. Whole barn is really full of stuff this month. Another guitar right there. As you can see, some lights. See, that's cool, look at that. You got the horses pulling wagon right there comic books some knives right there i think the jewelry case has stuff i'll show you that in a second purses right there let's walk up right here and say more knives toys you got some fishing poles yadros so you can see the pole barn is pretty stacked too you got all this artwork I'll show it to everyone from the other side. It's kind of hard to show it from this close. And you got all this jewelry and costume jewelry. It's going to be hard to see with the light in here. I think there's some sterling mixed in there. I believe there's some gold in there as well. Artwork, like I said. This picture right here does something for me. Right there. I'm pretty sure that's signed up. Nice mirror hanging right there. As you can see, we got stuff hanging on the walls. Let me show you the rest of his stuff in here. It's, uh, it's all it's all online, so the numbers in there kind of correspond. There's some coin lots in there, some more jewelry in there. If you're interested in it, it's probably easier to show you uh, for you to look online to see it in here with the, the video. Let's walk back down this row, come back down, come back up. You know, that flatware. Looks like a little Yadro right there. It is a Yadro. Dishes, piggy banks, another Yadro. 
there right there. More piggy banks. You can see, let's walk down here, come back up. These tables are full. Some really neat lots in here. Some kind of cards right there, marbles. All these comic books. A bunch of Spode. If you like Spode, Christmas Spode. Carnival glass in there. I got some depression mixed in there. Some fans. Cut glass. There's a lot of stuff in here. Those are neat. That flatware right there. The green and the yellow. The next in there. Whatever these are. It's like some French stuff. I can't remember what this is. These are neat glasses though. Shells. Somebody left the tape measure in here. And you got some uh, some reels. Well, cannabis just that right there. Tea and coffee. Let me show you that. That's cool. Let's keep walking these rows. There's a lot of stuff in here. Took a lot of pictures. Hope we took enough for you. Once again, this auction starts closing at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on Friday. The live lots. When I mean live, they start closing. Following the pre-bidding, which is going on right now. There's pre-bidding. You can pre-bid on all this stuff right now. Or you can put a proxy bid and let the system just bid for you. If you can't make this actual auction, bid yourself. I always like to watch the auction close. There's Pokemon, it looks like, right here. There's Pokemon. I don't know if there's Pokemon in there or not. Toys are in there for sure. Box of Pokemon. You gotta check it out, I'm not sure. All right, these tables are full as well. More Crocs and pottery. Coca-Cola. Good mix of stuff in here. Eclectic mix. Something in here for you, I'm sure. Come preview it tomorrow if you'd like, 3 to 7 p.m. Once again, 79 Old York Road in Chesterfield. Those are Royal Daltons. That's a religious right there. You got that light right there for sale. Let me walk down here and show you this stuff. The bidding platform is, there's Coke right there. The bidding platform is sunrise-antiques.highbid.com. The catalog's out there, been out there for about uh, about a week or so, I guess. We got all this stuff over here for you. A little doctor sign right there. Let me show you here. All right, so this is the pole barn. Looking out uh, from the back to the front. Maybe give you just an idea how much was on these tables. We got a full auction. It's a full house. Once again, our next auction in here is March the 3rd. If you do want to consign, we take consignments Tuesday through Friday, generally from 10 to 4. If you want to call us before you come, let us, you know, let us know you're coming. We'll be here. If you do want to consign, I'd say drop sooner than later because the building fills up pretty quick. At least it has traditionally. So March the 3rd is the next one. Kind of a safety box. There's some more cast iron right there. Almost like a cast iron clock. It's a neat miner's hat right there. 1023. And as you can see, all the tables have a good variety of things. More knives and pocket knives. Good variety of things in here. Bottle lots. Uh, yellow, yellow dishes right there. Just a good, good variety of mix of things. That if you're going to resell, you can try to resell. Or if you like, like I said, once again for yourself. Decorative arts. Stuff you're not going to find in a regular store, that's for sure. You got those carpets right there. Oh, and I forgot about these. Those two uh, arts and crafts looking chairs right there. Those are up for grabs as well. Looks like it's lot number 802.
Let me take it back inside, the main building here. All right, here we go. Let's walk back up inside here and show you. Give you the coordinates again. All right, once again, our address is 79, 79 Old York Road. 79 Old York Road, Chesterfield, New Jersey, 08515. That's where this auction is. Online only. Live lots start closing at 10 a.m. on Friday. The lots close every 12 seconds. Somebody bids on a lot, it will expend it for another minute and keep extending until the bidding stops. The other lots continue to close. All right, they continue to close every 12 seconds. The bidding platform is sunrise-antiques.highbid.com. 1,440 plus lots for you. Main building, pavilion area, and the pole barn. Sunrise-antiques.highbid.com. You can also click into our, uh, our website at sunrise-antiques.com and then go on over to the, the, uh, the bidding platform. Or you can get us on Facebook. Just search for Sunrise Antiques. Like and follow the page. Our phone number is 888-639-4443. Need to call us. Preview tomorrow, 3 to 7 p.m. in this building, in the middle, in the back there. 3 to 7 p.m. Come on out, take a look at the stuff. See if you really like it or you don't like it. I'd probably like it more if you see it in person. Try to make the pictures as good as possible with, with uh, dimensions and stuff. But you got to come look at it sometimes. We will be here from 3 to 7 for you. 10 a.m. start time on Friday. Pick up Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 4. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll be sending out a scheduler if you want to use the scheduler for pickup. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. We accept check, cash, and credit. Once again, the bidding platform is sunrise antiques dot highbid.com sunrise dash antiques dot highbid.com thanks for looking hope to see you at the preview tomorrow 3 to 7 p.m and good luck at the auction at 10 a.m on friday sunrise dash antiques dot highbid.com thanks for looking